Hello and welcome, this is STR Ring. Today I'm going to play some more Inscription Casey's Mod. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll stick with our Mantis run and uh, let's get 80 points on the board. I think we'll go this route and I'm tempted to turn off tip scales instead. And we'll try it this way at least a time or two. Hopefully we'll get lucky and uh, finally complete this run. We had a complete by surprise loss last time with that Lammergeier that came out of nowhere and took us down like a TKO. Let's see if we can do a little bit better today. Okay. Let's see. There's a Lammergeier, interestingly enough. Kind of want to have it on the team just as a, uh, you know, throwing up a bad gesture at them right back at them let's throw a uh, worm into the fire and hopefully it'll uh get burnt out first time yes good now we can boost up our mantis without um any worry that's great we'll probably head to the right just because of that okay so elk fawns are incoming. Let's put down our um, mantis god over here, and I think it will be just fine. They're gonna scooch over to the right. Oh, maybe not. Okay, we'll put a round worm in front of this, or ring worm in front of this elk fawn, so it doesn't do extra damage. Here we go. They're gonna run off anyways. I don't know why I bothered. Alright, now we can get our Lammergeier down. Should do like one damage, I think. Oh, two damage. Good. It's exciting we got to use it so quickly. Alright, Direwolf time. And another flame event. Alright, let's get our mighty mighty Mantis God. Powered up. Here we go. I think after this next fire event, we'll probably turn to uh, doing sigils next. All right, not enough to get anything good down, unfortunately. I could use up the bone zone and get the alpha. That would at least get something going. I could put the ringworm down to add to the fire here. The elf fawn will move over and the ringworm will kind of kill it in a fit of irony. Oh, actually, it's waterborne. Darn it. I should have taken that into account. Let's go ahead and use up all of our stuff so it'll be worth it when we go to the next stopping point. Now yeah, we've got a full blown elk. No worry, we got a Lammergeier coming at him. There we go. That should take out the mole. Oh yeah, with it being airborne, it doesn't protect. Overlook that. You gotta be careful and consider all these angles, I think, going a little too fast. Okay. Hmm. Don't really want any of these, but I guess let's go this one. Okay, we'll be spot. Could have been worse. Alright, yeah, after this boost. The Mantis God, I mean, it's going to have five health, so I really don't see much of a need to keep boosting yet. So we'll try to focus on Sigils next. Alright, Elk Fawns that have Burrowing. Okay. Looks like nothing can uh, get put on the board right now, so let's see. Hmm. I guess we just have to save up and try drawing from our non-squirrel pile and hopefully get lucky here. All right, we got lucky. Gotta get rid of that ringworm because it's just gonna be a massive problem. Hopefully we'll hit a uh, sacrifice area soon.
Oh, another Lamer Guard. Lamer Guard. Maybe we can combine them into one strong one that has lots of defense. Lots and lots. Okay. Well, we could put the Dire Wolf's ability on the Mantis God. Um, seems like a little bit of a waste, though. With all these three star ones, that's kind of tough. Now, I could put the Alpha, put its ability on uh, the Round Worm. That would be kind of interesting to boost up anything around it. I don't have to worry about a bone cost. But I think I'd rather put one of these Lamer Gyres on something else, like the Mantis God. Because um, it's going to do so much damage with Airborne. Just why not? Be one less 3D blood to draw. Maybe not the best strategy, but um, we're going to do so much damage as long as it can survive like a round. We should basically win. We'll see if that comes back to haunt us here in a moment. Okay. Let's see. We could get the alpha down pretty quickly. Really hate to lose it though. Um, but let's see the smoke and then put down the ringworm over here. And we have enough for the alpha. And we can get us a squirrel that attacks with us too, just for fun. Alright, and a moose buck. Well, this is actually suddenly not looking too good. We're not going to have enough time, I think, to uh, draw. So, no joke, I've already lost. <laughs> wow. That, uh played out so poorly I'm kind of in shock but you know tip scales was part of this too because I think I would have had one more turn if it hadn't been for the uh, tipped scales so let's try again and maybe I'll have a little bit better luck the early draw too without any insects is kind of rough so totally the game's fault not mine <laughs> let's see what we get okay flying ant that's an improvement and corpse maggots. Um, I think the two of those are pretty good choices. All right. Well, that stinks that we lost our completing the fire too. So let's just go on over this way, I suppose. Hmm. Maybe I should have got the bifurcated strike, but it was a snap decision. That's okay. All right, time for the Mantis God to come on down. I went with that lane in hopes they wouldn't put one in front of me, but looks like they were gonna do that anyways. There we go. All right, too much power on the board at once. Um, yeah, this isn't looking the best. Actually, I'm not positive I can win now. I have to have something I can play immediately here. Uh, corpse maggots. That's not really going to do it. Um, wow. Yeah, I kind of think I can't win now. I just don't have enough power. Um, let me just do... I'm feeling like ending the run on this one because I think it's already showing a bad setup. So let's just restart it. I didn't really want to waste time if I'm losing out of the gate like that already. Okay. Try number three. Let's see. Wolf Cub. Let's see. Do we only have one ticket that time? I think we did. Ah, oh, I guess I accidentally clicked that possum or something. Darn it. Ah, oh, that stinks. I did not want the possum. Hmm. Feeling like this is kind of a cursed stream now at this point. 
Come on, Ringworm, perish. <laughs> Maybe we'll end up putting in the bifurcated strike, or the trifurcated strike on uh, one of the Ringworms for the Mantis God. We'll steal it. <laughs> this rate, why not? Awesome. Nice. Okay. I could get bees within. That'll help me uh, generate stuff. I'd like to get that and then the... Probably the undying sigil or something like I did in that one previous run that was a lot of fun. Okay, um, let's see, well, this puts me in a bad spot, don't want to, don't want to use either of these, hmm, maybe I'll put this on the wolf cub, like, why not, because it'll grow up stronger anyways. Doesn't have to be the Mantis God, you know? Alright, let's head up to the fire event. Okay. Plus, it's gonna get three damage anyways on its first run. Alright. And let's see, we'll do this number and we'll get our possum down too. Nice. That's a little bit of excess. And another fire event's coming up too. Mud turtle. Hmm. We'll do it. All right, what are we gonna boost up here? All right, good. Maybe we'll be able to boost up the attack power of our wolf cub, and we actually have two in a row, so surely one of those will be a boost. All right, wolf cub, I think it's your turn. Let's get you on the board. Yep, looks like they're not going to see what's coming at them at all. Perfect. Nice. Maybe we'll focus on our sigil being canine focused just to give the wolf another... Um, mean ability. Let's see. I guess let's go with a three. Lammergeier. Ugh. Looks like I'm going to be running into a lot of those today. Alright. Time to up the might to something. Um. Well, we could do the wolf cub or we could get this ringworm boosted up to be a two and a five. Why not? It only being one blood, might as well make it useful, right? And we'll boost up the wolf cub this time. There we go. So it can technically win in the first turn. Unless it's one of the boss fights. Okay. Let's see. Playing a mud turtle sounds like a decent idea. We actually have enough power for our Lamergar to have a decent amount of health too. Okay. 
Okay. We'll have him pull away one of his own birds there. Bye bye, bird. <laughs> nice. Okay, it looks like we may not have any other cards that are pulling on us. Um, let's put down the beehive. There we go. That way I can hit it in the next set. Oh, looks like he's not going to pull. That's okay. We should be able to get us a uh, wolf cub. Yeah. And we'll sacrifice out our beehive. Put this guy over here. And we'll also take out our red turtle. And that should win the game for us. Okay. And wolf cub and ringworm we trust. Alright, let's see. Having ant spawner, that combined with beehive would be interesting because I think that would get us close to having our infinite loop minus the um, undying part. We'd have to find something to combine with that. Okay, let's see. Now we could duplicate the beehive and the means to, to go towards the direction of having that duplication process, but I think I'd rather do the sigil swap and put the ant queens on the beehive. Um, or perhaps the other way around and we'll just boost up the ant queen, but the beehive only costing one blood sounds smarter, so let's go that way. I don't know, this is a hard pick either way, I think. Okay, let's see. I think I will do it this way though. Overall, the cost may end up being just a tiny bit lower. And if I can get the health boosted of the beehive to spawn um, bees and um, ants, that would be so cool. Especially if it means that the bees are gonna spawn ants. Okay. Pronghorn with its little loose tail. We could get down the wolf cub and I think make quick work of this situation. So let's go ahead and do it. It's gonna get six damage right away and that's gonna be it. Okay. Let's see what duplicates do we have. We do have mud turtle duplicates. Um, we don't have a sigil yet but we do have teeth to trade in so let's do this and maybe the sigil i don't know if it's worth going to the um fungus event yet okay we have enough to get a wolf pelt or we could wait a little bit longer get there in golden but i think we'll go with this for now that'll give us a one of each situation Okay, and I have nothing right now, so I could get K9, but that would only cover one of them. Um, bugs would be nice. I don't know if I want Waterborne, though. Let's just go with the K9 head to start. That might be enough to get us a boost with our wolf situation and be on a pretty happy trail. Alright, let's see how hard this fight's going to be. All right, we can put down our super mean ringworm. Here we go. Probably should have played a pelt where that pronghorn's about to hit. That would have been smarter. Oh well. Let's see. I can go ahead and play this other one, but let's draw a card or two first. We'll play it over here because we know that elk fawn's going to come down and hit it. Actually not, because the pronghorns when get stuck. Gotta think this through. Okay. Elk fawns coming in. We still got a lot of health in that ringworm, so I think we'll be okay. Alright. 
now let's see fortunately I can't get anything down so we're just gonna have to keep going with what we have here all right the mean elk is gonna move around and yeah I'm in kind of a bad situation now I need to get I guess the mud turtle into the play or else I'm gonna be in trouble so let's drop from here and see if we get lucky Ah, oh, Lamrick Iyer. Never when I need you. Um, see, this elk's going to destroy that. The pronghorn's going to do plus one damage. Um, let's see what else we got. And it's going to take out that, and that would clear off enough area. But I could get the mud turtle down and I think be a little bit safer. So let's go with the mud turtle over here. And... That'll buy us some time while we are searching for a better card. Okay. Alright, Possum can take out this Elk Fawn. That gets rid of some of our problem there. And our Pronghorn's going to hit these two. Um, and yeah, we'll just have to wait. Oh, okay. Miscalculated slightly there. The sharp quills threw me off. Oh man. It's got to miss one little thing. Okay. Let's go on to our sigil. I think that's more important than items right now. I do kind of have weak items though, so don't like that. But we'll hopefully get to sort that out later. Alright. Let's do this. It at least gives us something, some sort of boost to help us. Okay, a coyote is coming to town. So we can play um, Beehive to um, generate some stuff. Let's go ahead and pull a tooth while we're at it. There we go. Okay, a bee with a worker ant within, so that's good. Let's draw from over here, and we should have enough to get, um, I think, two worker ants on the board. There we go. And we have a coyote incoming. Um, you're going to take out these, and the coyote's going to do two damage, so it should be fine. Here's our wolf cub. I wonder where it's been hiding. Let's go ahead and play it, even though we can turn this around. I do want to get another item. There we go. Perfect. Two fungus events coming up. Well, we could have a really buff Lamer Geyer, or we could get us a Mantis. And let's see, how would that Mantis play out? We need to have the Bifurcated Strike, but I just don't know. Maybe we could put its ability on the Ringworm since it's already buff. I think that's what I'll do. Here we go, a 4-4 four, four mud turtle, stronger than a wolf. Too bad I didn't have separate sigils on the two of them. Okay, well this would get us this one on it, but this would get us a card, so I think I'll go this way instead. Ooh, let's see. Well, wolf cub, we could get another sigil on it build up a super buff one, so I think I will go that route. Alright. And a coyote. Okay, we're gonna use our wolf cub right away, and uh, we will see where we get to next.
Alright, nice. So now we can get our mud turtle down. Let's go ahead and get that going. Because it'll be at least another turn. And we can get a pretty good hit on the pack mole using our mud turtle. Alright, beehive. Good. We'll save that until after we get to the next phase since we're about to lose what we currently have anyways. And here he goes. So mean. Alright, rabbit pelt. Don't think I want to get anything on the board right now. We'll wait till the bloodhound takes out the nugget. There we go. Now we can use a rehive. Alright. Alright, well we got a lot of bones on the board, but we still can't get past our there to deploy it since there's the nuggets in the way. Um, let's see about putting down a B so that we can generate some more grants. There we go. Here comes our buff ringworm. But I don't think we're going to have time to play it. We're going to win with this hand, I think. Okay, good. Now if I can just keep my cool about me, I'm feeling like this hand is building up to have some good potential. Let's see. Tempted to do Corpse Maggot so that we can auto-deploy the Lammer Gyre. Um, potentially. Dire Wolf does have the bifurcated strike, which would be cool. I could put that on the Wolf Cub and then combine that um, with the two Wolf Cubs. I think that would be really cool if that works out. Okay, I do see a Sigil swap, so let's head towards it. Don't want to miss our opportunity here. And we get a cave event. Let's do two of a kin. Oh wow, what a miss. I thought for sure that would be an easy one. Alright, here we go. Let's do our dire wolf and we will put its ability on our wolf cub. Oh good, I see a fire event coming up too. Raven Egg, Alpha, and a Raven Egg. Oh. Could put the Mantis in the way of the Alpha. Um, oh, this isn't good. They're stinky too on the birds. That's not good. Um, hmm. Sounds like a job for the Ringworm. Take out that Alpha quickly. Okay, and let's put, I don't want to put a frozen possum down or the other one. So I guess let's stick with what we have right now. We'll be assassinating the alpha anyways. And let's see what we get now. Possum. That's not going to do us any good. That's too much damage right there. I think we've lost already. Wow. I had nothing there to really defend. Man, sometimes the CPU just seems a little unbalanced. <laughs> How is I going to counteract that? It's crazy. Alright, I don't think we'll waste our teeth. Let's do our beehive so that it can uh, 
get us lots of ants and bees. Okay. Well, looks like it's time for our wolf cub to come in and tear it up. Ah, I should have used an item. Darn it. Probably could have used bone or something and just had it um, replaced with something better. That's okay. We're getting there bit by bit. Oh, a dire wolf. And I think that we're ready to do our fungi event so we can combine our wolves up and we'll have a super strong one. So let's do it. Call this our wolf cub from hell. Okay, wow. Talk about ridiculously overpowered. It's going to do, uh, I think, 16 damage if it's played. Okay, Raven Eggs and a Wolf Cub. They're going to do so much damage to me, too. It's just not good. Gotta take out that Wolf Cub pretty quickly. Um, let me think. I can't get the Mantis down. So we'll just have to put it here and it won't hit either of those and the ravens will be doing plus four. So this is not ideal. We're going to have to get really lucky with the next card we draw or else we're going to lose. Um, rabbit pelt. I, mean, I could put it down, but it's not going to help anything. So unfortunately, I think that the game has just um, decided it's time for me to lose because I'm not going to have enough here to counter. Um, I'm just not. It's over. Wow. That's a little stunning, actually. It must have seen how fast I was scaling up with the wolf cubs and really not like that because that's two matches in a row where um, I, I feel like I didn't really do anything wrong. I just was handed a poor deal and the CPU was just like ang angry at me, but I guess we'll keep going. That's three matches lost in 30 minutes. I think it might be a new record even for me. <laughs> we'll do Wolverine and Tire Wolf Pup. Love to see use of those sigils elsewhere. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy to see it perish. That's great. Alright, Mantis God. It's your turn, buddy. Okay, we almost have enough for our Wolverine. I don't think I need to do a sigil swap. I, mean, I could put this bloodlust on something, but I think I'll wait a little bit longer. So let's go get something for our totem. Let's see, I don't think we need a bone consumer yet. Let's go with Canine, why not? That might be what the um, Wolverine falls into as well. I said before, I need to look up the charts for this and see where everything falls. Alright, Skink. We don't want to hit it, so we'll go over here. Hopefully the Mantis God will be left alone to do its thing. Okay, let's see. Both of these going waterborne, I won't be hitting them, so doesn't matter. We'll finish it out. Oh, 
Oh, a great light. Nice. Ooh, insect head. Um, but there's also sharp quills. That would go with my canine, so maybe we'll do that to start. Kingfishers and beehive. We'll just park our mantis got over here, and kingfishers aren't going to hurt it anyways. I did get the beehive on my way to where I can't strike it though. That's pretty funny. Almost have enough to play the great white. Now I do. Time to go chomp. Chomp. There we go. I wish there was something that could take stuff out of the water. It'd be so nice to have that as a sigil, because it's so frustrating when things go underwater and you can't do anything about them. Alright, should we do a sigil swap of some sort? I feel like maybe getting the dire wolves on the mantis god, this or that added attack could be worth it. I think we'll do that. I'll get to get in another um thing for my totem as well okay waterborne mantis guess we'll take it welcome to the crew okay we'll go with the deer head i suppose all those were not ideal that's okay Surround sound attack. Two center channels. There we go. And it's sad I've already lost enough to be on another round of the angler. <laughs> okay. Could just about play the Wolverine. That'd be cool. Um if we took the squirrel, we could get the great white on there. That would be pretty funny. I think it will just let it go to the next turn. Okay, so he's gonna pull. It's not good. Um, let's do this. We'll get a mantis, and we'll have him pull the smoke over. Okay. Now we can put down, I guess, our mantis, I suppose. Um, let's draw from here. All right, mantis god. Good. Um, yeah, we really don't want to trigger the animals, though. But let me just go ahead and put it over here, I guess. And... We'll figure out what to do when it comes time for the uh, final area, but this will be alright. They don't have a lot on the board to mess with me anyways. Alright, we'll send up a squirrel. Now get rid of one of the kingfishers once again. Dire Wolf Pup. We'll play it after the bait buckets are set out. Well, making me use another squirrel is not going to be a very good situation for me. Alright, now it's time for our bait buckets. Let's see. Direwolf pup with its sharp quills could 
help take out one of these guys, but I don't think it's gonna be ready in time. So let's do um let's see, I think we can just play it like normal and we'll be on a good path. And we can have a Wolverine out as well. Just looking to see if there's anything else I need to do here. I don't think so. Okay. We'll play our Mantis over here so that it will be prepared to... Actually, we'll play it here in the middle so it can in both directions. I think we're on a win anyway, so yeah. Nice. take that. Maybe we'll do some weird combination of sigils that'll make it really fun to uh, combine them up. And we could sacrifice our other roundworm. Oh, another wolverine. Hmm. We do have fecundity though. Maybe putting... Let's see. I don't think there's any chance. Where would that be good? Maybe, let's see, should we get the black goat? I think we should. Alright, now we can sacrifice our ringworm and see what would that make us do next. Have an item event after another battle. So we'll get rid of that ringworm. It's just taking up space and not going to be worth it, I think. Okay. And we keep moving. All right, our mantis god can come out in the field right away. I'll get us most of the damage done that we need. Oh, elk fawns incoming. That's not good. But we can get our dire wolf pup out on the board. And put them over here. Alright, dire wolf pup, it's all up to you, man. You're the dire dog now. Looks like it did just fine. Let's see, we could bring up its stats a little bit. I don't think we need another great white, so let's go with the dog. Alright, um, let's see, there's a duplication, and we could do the Mantis God with that. Um, in fact, that might be the best thing we can do. I think we'll do that, because we'll also get a pack rat here, and that'll be nice for being able to keep items coming our way. could put the mantis anywhere because it's not going to get hit anyway so let's just put it over here I suppose all right I think I'm going to have to use this guy because unfortunately that elk is going to uh, be a problem with the amount of damage it's generating and the mole blocking hits like it is. Alright. Good. I hope Fawn's not going to be able to stop the Mantis either, so that's nice. Another Great White. Can you believe it? Nice. 
All right, cave event. Give me something good. Four power, two of a cannon, and three sigils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think we definitely can win sigils, so let's do it. Yep. Exceeded it quite well by double, it looks like. Alright, a beehive that is a bone king and has a rabbit hole. Um, that's good because that would generate a lot actually, so we're gonna go with it. Um, that'll give me a lot of things that I could sacrifice. So I think that was a very easy pick. So if we can buff it, it'd be awesome. Alright, let's do a duplicate of our mantis god, please. Okay, a perfect copy. I'll take it over having missing offense, which happens sometimes. It's terrible when it does. Alright, now we should definitely get a Mantis God with how many low ones we have. Yeah, there we go. Unfortunately, they're waterborne. That's not a good situation. There we go. All right, cave event. Come on, give me a low count sigil. You know I'll beat it. There we go. I think that I'm guaranteed to win that. Like, just about. I just have to have one card that has two, and I've got several of them. Well, not even that. I just have to have anything. All right, ringworm that is Dan Builder with Mighty Leap. Hmm. Bat that burrows and scavengers and an elk fawn as Airborne and Bone King. Well, none of these are particularly good in my book. Um, I mean, maybe the Ringworm for the dam building with Mighty Leap. That's just not, not that great. I mean, it would block a barrage of those um, error attacks, so I guess there's that. Let's do the Elk Fawn, I suppose. I wasn't really happy with any of those choices. It's unfortunate. Alright, Insect Head with Sharp Quills. I think it will do that. That'll be a little bit of revenge for when they take out my 1 HP Mantis Gods. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get a fire event and I can boost them soon. All right, we want to splice together our mantis gods. It's tempting, but I don't know. Kind of like the idea of boosting them independently too. Um, could have a great white that's eight and four. That'd be a lot more useful. I think I'll do that instead. If I get a sigil that does something really powerful with my insects, um, Having two mantis gods, this might be more worth it. Versus one that's two and two. I mean, that's just not an amazing stat boost, really. I know that that would give me a lot on the board, but I just don't think it's the right move, personally. Here's a good case of that, too. Like this fight, I can get the mantis god down and then put down a wolverine um if i wanted to but i mean it's going to die so we'll do this instead and um then we'll get our wolverine down so let's do let's see i already lost this for myself um <laughs> i'm kind of thinking i have so the sharp quills are not good. I think that was enough to make me lose. Um, I can take out one of the strange frogs with the wolverine. Um, but I don't think I'm going to be able to deploy something else quickly enough to 
make it matter. The dire wolf pup, I guess, is there. So let's just wait and see before I totally give up here. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't going to work because we'll, we're just going to lose too much. Yep. I was right. That was what I was afraid of. Ah, man. What a rough day on this. We'll give it one more run, though. I keep feeling like my deck is, like, good, but I just keep getting just something out of the blue from the computer. It's like, I can't believe they've done that to me. <laughs> and I can't recover. It's just like an avalanche. But, oh well. All right, let's get this, and hopefully we can put that on our Mantis God or something, maybe on a beehive. And let's go with flying it. Try to focus on insects as much as I can now. We'll save the sigil swap and we'll instead go to the fire first. Come on, burn, burn, baby, burn. Nope. Alright. This one has Mighty Leap too. Wow. That's tough. Already starting me off with a bad situation here. You know, I think the tip scale too almost ends up being harder than more difficult too. That's another part that I keep debating which way is harder, but having one less, you know, being uneven at the start is a hard pill to swallow, so that might be the harder of the two, um, deep down. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to lose our flying ant here. Surely we'll get something drawn here. Our Mantis God. It's in such a bad spot, though. Um, we won't be able to do much with it, and all we have is a cockroach we have to fight with. Nothing else left here. Got kind of a narrow window to fix this. I guess we're going to have to use... Well, he did surrender, so let me see. Could get a ringworm down and then a cockroach comes into play. Um, let me just go for that. It's funny that he would surrender. Um, I mean, I do have the cockroach that can take him out. So I want to do it just for the fun of it. Let's do this. And we'll put that over there. Ah, burrowing mantis. Hmm. Well, we can make our mantis god undying. And if we get to do a booster, that'll be another thing too, so... Hopefully this fireplace, um, we'll see the demise of one of our ringworms. Alright, Undying Mantis God. I need you more than ever. Alright, 
Cody, you think you got me, but I'm coming right back with it. Whoops. I don't know why it did that. Just cleared out your whole board. Alright, okay. Let's see. I don't know if I want to go Dire Wolf Pup again, but maybe we will. It is only two blood after all. Famous last words. Hopefully we'll finally burn this out. Um, or I could just go ahead and do a plus one there and be happy with it. I mean, that's six damage now, so it's pretty great. Maybe the next one we'll try flaming the uh, round worm. Need to get rid of one anyways. Alright, let's just block off this wolf cub, I guess. And we get a wolf. That's fine. We will take this. Alright. Now, let's see. I think if we put down our um, flying ant, we actually have enough power to finish this now. Yep. Good. Let's see. I guess we'll go ahead and head to the fire. Hmm. We'll take bone. Why not? We got another cockroach. All right, let's see. We'll do our lower ringworm. Good. I guess it's only our third fire, so should have another maybe two or three left. Hmm, fecundity. Um, why not? We could get that with our insect head, then we could just produce mantis gods as we wish. That would be awesome. Okay, well, mantis god is undying, so it should come back to us even with the uh, prospector hit, so let's just go ahead and let it go. <laughs> You've activated my trap card. Okay, cockroach, it's your turn, bud. Not that we really need you, but you'll at least add to our access by one. <laughs> wow, smoked them. Ooh, a beehive. Good. We'll put Undying on there and let's keep generating stuff. Hmm. Dire Wolf. I really don't like any of these cards. Um. Don't think that they help me with the current situation, really. So, let's see. I guess we'll take the Dire Wolf for now. Let's do a Sigil Swap, and we'll get um, our Bees Within on the Cockroach, perhaps. Or vice versa. Hmm.
Interesting, this is a hard pick. I think that I will do the beehive, taking the cockroaches, coming back. So that should generate bees that are undying as well. And that might help us create the loop that I was using before. Let's go ahead and test it now, letting the elk hit us here. Okay, good. Um, that should give us a prosperous cycle that we're looking for. Okay, so we'll do our B. And we get a B back. <laughs> And we'll do our B, and we get a B back, <laughs> and we can do our B, and we'll get things back. All right, and we'll get our B, and we'll get it back. And then just kind of keep going. Nice, we can actually go across the board um, and get our Darwolf, just like that. Sweet. And we will um, get our Mantis God back to you. Well, good. I think I might have a strong enough setup here that as soon as I get a sigil that has fecundity on it, I'll, I'll basically should be able to generate enough that I can't be stopped, I think. Um, interestingly, I don't have any duplicates in this moment. Um, or I can make a duplicate, I guess. So I could get Mantis God. Might as well. Wolf. Let's do Romantis God. I think it's the obvious choice. Three and one, wow. Perfect. All right, well, we'll just go ahead and win this one. We need to Hold back. Hopefully we'll have a fire event soon. Come on, give me an insect. Give me an insect. Oh, nope. Um, let's go with lizard. Okay. Skink. Skinky. Skinky skink. All right. What can we use a dire wolf's ability on? Um, just a plain old wolf. Sounds pretty good. Costs less blood. Can do six damage, so why not? Elk pawns. We'll just go ahead and win this one again, please. All right, now I have some tough decisions to make. I uh, can get a fire update, or there is a way to combine our Mantis gods into 15-2. Um, then I would have to do a sigil swap, which there's not a lot of good things to do at the moment. Um, I think I'd rather head up to the totem and the fire because I should be able to boost something at the fire that makes sense. Hmm. I don't know if I want to get Pronghorn. I think I'll go with the Bloodhound. Alright, come on, Insect Head. Oh, no. Well, Ants Within something. Um, I do have Fecundity, and I could get the, in or the 
And Fibian Head just to have something here. Let's do... Let's do this, I guess, just to have something completed. Better than nothing, I think, in this case, at least. Alright, time to boost up one of our Mantis Gods. Um, we'll do the lower end one, since the other one's gonna hit so hard anyways. Alright, fingers crossed. This might be a hard one. Okay. Well, they have Guardian, so it looks like we can get our chain going as well. So, nothing here to fear, I think. Okay. Um, and we can do another sacrifice, just like so. And let's do the beehive again. We'll go with it here this time. And I think that might leave us where we want to be. Okay, now we have a bee within so that we can start off our chain now. And since these are over there, um, we could put down the dire wolf pup in front of the strange frog, but I think we'll just let this play out as it is so we can collect those pelts. Okay, um, let's do this number again. pelts. Alright, so yeah, there we go. That should be good. Bees! Bees! Bees everywhere. It's gonna be hilarious if I get the fecundity on the insects. Um, I wanna laugh. I wanna laugh. I um, guess we'll go ahead and go this route. Might as well. time for us to get another mantis guy down but um, we'll just wait wow this is gonna be a total nightmare for them I think that I'll have both my mantis gods like ready to go let's just see how much damage we can do in one turn we'll uh, Take out this guy, this guy, and there's not a Lammergeier. Learn my lesson there. So we'll do this, and there we go. Okay. We've officially drawn all of our cards, so let's get our Mantis Gods on the board. Okay. And we have another Mantis God to go. something powerful our wolf that's all we need to do there we are and let's see I don't know if we can I think we can get the wolf cub on there there we go um, where did it go here we go it's gonna be a total overkill anyways but it'll be fun just to watch it play out Oh yeah, look at all those teeth. 
Okay. Well, I think I have my prosperous cycle here now. So as long as I'm paying attention, um, maybe we can finally beat this 80 point challenge. So I'm just going to have to keep kind of naming it out like this, I think, to have a chance. Um, let's do wolf. Oh, a sacrifice. Cool. Thinking three sigils may be the way. Let's do it. Maybe we'll get lucky. Not looking like it. Nope, we got it. A stinky porcupine that auto deploys. That's fascinating. A wolf cub that spawns ants and has quills. And a raven egg that drink it bear and waterborn. So it would be hard to stop. Hmm. A stinky porcupine that auto deploys. A lot of deploys a little bit wasted there. I think I'll go with the wolf cub. And we could get rid of that ringworm that's possibly gonna throw off me drawing mantises, so we'll do that. Without hesitation. Hopefully we got lucky and we're not gonna miss an event over there on the left side that would have been better. Kind of looks like it's not. Okay. Fledgling. We've got mud turtle and a flying ant. Um, we got a mantis that could be hitting that mud turtle. Um, or it could take out the flying ant. Probably it would be better to do that since we're going to have um, it turning into an ant queen if we're not careful. So, let me see. Is this enough on the board though? Maybe we should put down another one to get our flying ant started too. Okay. That makes me feel a little bit better. Uh, I did not realize it had guardian on it. Dang it. Oh, that's not good. Dire wolf pup might be able to turn this around for us though. Um, let's put it in front of our flying ant. And we'll pull a tooth too, just to be extra safe. They're gonna put a lot of damage on me here in a second. Yep. Okay, Mantis God. Um, Mantis God alone for this one wouldn't do enough, so we're gonna get four and they're gonna get five on me. I think that we'll survive it, so. Just barely. Oh, the Ant Queen just... Wow. Wow. That was a reversal of fortune there. I just ate some humble pie. See, once again, the order of cards drawn just uh, wasn't enough. And even if I put down my Mantis God, it wouldn't have worked. Oh, boy. Give me that Golden Pelt. Yeah. Alright. I guess that's what we'll take. Oops. We'll go over here and get something boosted and keep rolling forward. At least we don't really have to worry about our beehive. We could get this other Mantis God boosted though. There we go. Now it can be viable even against a single shark attack. Oh, I don't like this sigil either. That's an aggressive one. Okay, bloodlust. Yeah, don't like that. That's okay. We got our mantis god ready to go. We'll shield it over here. Wow, the CPU is really throwing everything at me now. You see that? Wow. And it's starting to not hold back, I noticed. 
All right, surely we'll get it. Yep. Okay, a coyote with bees within that also grows stronger. A rattler that's fledgling and can be sacrificed. A raven that auto deploys and has touch of death. Unfortunately, it's airborne, so I don't think it matters. Um, well, Cody's kind of calling to me with this rattler. Sounds pretty nice, but it takes six bone. However, um, it would only become four and two, so maybe we'll go with Cody. Alright, I do kind of need items. I don't know if I need to go to the fireplace event right now. Um, as far as the other events, we have a totem event, which would be nice. I don't know if going to the duplicate event matters all that much. To have us just a crazy strong wolf. Um, maybe getting items would be the better way forward. That's a hard pick. Um, let's get items, I guess. I just really don't want to chance it here. Alright, stinky birds. That's not good. Probably gonna throw some ravens at me. That's usually what happens there. Ah, uh, kingfishers. Okay, um, Cody can hit on our beehive. It'll come back. Okay, and I can actually sacrifice it to get our mantis on the board. Um, and that may have been a dumb move, because they are stinky birds. Um, yeah, it may have been dumb. Hmm. I don't know. Let's just think about it, see how it goes. Okay. Yep, maybe it was a dumb move. I don't know why, but I thought if I sacrificed the beehive, it would come back. But that's not how that works. Um, I think we'll be okay if I'm doing well. Two and four. We're going to lose this um, due to the raven. Dang it. Um... Okay, well, yeah, I think we're going to lose this, so we'll just let it play out. Yep, okay. Wow. It's always something. There's always this, like, one little thing that doesn't go the way it needs to be. That's why I'm addicted to this game, though. I'm determined to beat the 80-point uh, challenge, and I don't know if I'll ever be able to beat the 100-point, but I want to try. <laughs> so let's go at least one more turn. Um, let's see. I can see auto-deploy being really nice, and having Warren to generate rabbits on something like Beehive might be cool. Let's do... Let's do the black goat and corpse maggots, I guess. And as usual, we'll try to burn one of our ringworms right away. Hopefully it goes on the very first one. Always seems like it's worse if it's not. Okay, here we go. Wish we could skip the transitions just a little bit more quickly. Kingfisher and a bat. I think another thing that's like kind of screwing me over too are just having the uh, all battles be totem battles too because that just makes it all harder. Um, you never know what they're going to put on you and oftentimes it's pretty horrible. Um, 
when it does happen. Wow, my hand is so weak right now. I literally only have the Mantis God and it's something that's viable in this situation. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to go this way. I definitely don't wanna do a sigil swap. Don't have a really a card to do it with. Oh, a grizzly. It'd be funny to put the Mantis God's ability on the Grizzly and uh, <laughs> with the Black Good I have in my hand. I can actually accelerate up to that pretty quickly. Okay, let's use up some of our junk here items now that we have a uh, Pack Rat join us. Oh, another Teeth Bowl. I think we can do better than that. But it'll have to wait. Doing the old B rush on me. We're gonna take a few of those bees out. It's a grizzly. All right, I'm gonna put down our goat so we can get our grizzly down. There we go. <laughs> Hand over those teeth. Oh, be sacrificed many times. Oh, that's not good though. That means that um, nothing's going to get the nutritional benefit of it. Mm. It's kind of lame. I hate it when sigils clash like that and cause problems. Darn cuckoo with us. Those are pains. We're about to lose our mantis god too. Hmm. Of course maggots will come out and take over. Oh there we go. I didn't think we had enough to finish it. Let's do my turtle. Love to have that power on a duplicate. Um, Mantis God. Alright, give me power. Yes. Perfect. It's nine attack power on our Mantis God. Very viable now. Let's do... Hmm... Think about putting the auto deploy on the mud turtle, perhaps. That would be kind of nice to not have the bones consumed that way. Um, maybe even putting the pack rats trinket. I think I'll do that instead. I'll put it on the corpse maggots. Yeah. A little bit of a weird way of doing it, but having it as an auto deploy could help. Let's try to keep one item less more often. Let's do a teeth pull right away here in a second. I might save the teeth pull for the next round. Well, looks like it's not gonna matter because I'm gonna get the mantis god right away. And we can save up, use the grizzly on the next uh, part, and it should be all over. Okay. I 
Okay. Um, yeah, let's just get the grizzly on the board. This will be kind of hilarious to see the over damage. That should be five teeth just for that. Oh, good. Ooh, an undying sigil. Yes, please. All right. Two cave events and a fire in the same line. That's pretty sweet. Um, now, undying could go to my mantis god. That way I wouldn't have to worry about buffing its health anymore. Um, don't really need to do another item thing. So... It's unfortunate. I wonder if I could just use this un unending sacrifice to just buff something like the Mantis God over and over. That'd be cool. Maybe it does work that way. I just don't know if the card has to disappear to get its attributes. So maybe we'll buff up the... Uh, Millworm and see if that's the way it works or not. Okay. Alright, give me something cool, please. Cuckoo with a rabbit hole and stinky. A skink that has an ant inside and rabbit hole. Work kind auto poise and has fecundity. Hmm. I want to go with a skink because it produces two cards, including an ant that I could play right away. All right, this is a bit of risk, but mm, I think I want to put I want to put it on here, but I'm afraid I'm gonna be let down. It's not gonna work the way I think it is, but we're gonna try. I'm thinking I might be able to sacrifice this over and over and just like buff the crap out of multiple cards. Let's see. All right, Mantis God. We could lose you though to the wild bull, so I think we're gonna need to put it over there. Um, we should get through the turn or through this match immediately though. Okay, that would have been hard without that. Could have easily been lost. Five bone. I could get that with just the corpse maggots, but I think sigils are still the way to go. Yep, got it right away. Okay, an adder that has bifurcated attack and moves around. A rattler that has morsel and bloodlust. And a corpse eating cuckoo that is, has fecundity. Um, let's go to the rattler. Having the bloodlust, I think, is what swayed me on that one. And I guess I need to sacrifice my cockroach to get our undying um, mantis god started. Okay. Could get us another pack rat or something, um, or do another sigil swap. And I don't think that I have any sigils other than maybe putting the mud turtle on something else. But that could only be the grizzly, or the black goat, and I don't know how much that matters. So I guess let's head try to get a pack rat. We'll see, depending on if I consume items or not on this hand, which is always a possibility. Elk. Okay. Well, let's play our skink. That actually sounds pretty useful for this situation. And we can get us uh, our work rant down as well. Okay. And um, yeah, 
elk should hit the skink and the skink will survive. I think it will be okay. Okay. Here's our mealworm that we can experiment with. So I think that I should be able to sacrifice something um, on it and get its attributes, but it looks like it's not gonna let me do that because the spaces are full. So I have to wait until the elk kills the worker ant to test this out for sure. Okay, so let's try, let's try putting just like the grizzly down just for funsies. Okay, so it did take its health. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. Um, we still don't have enough for the rattler, so let's put down our rabbit and we'll do a sacrifice like that. And, um, yeah. Okay. Good. That millworm could be fantastic. That's exactly how I was hoping it would work. Because if I can boost it again to have some attack power, um, that'd make my army pretty strong. Hmm. Name require sounds kind of good, but I think I want a magpie so that I can find items or cards. Rather. Time for another pack rat. Hey, little buddy. Come join the party. Oh, and I haven't completed a totem yet either, so... Gotta get that going. Porcupine, wild bull, and a rabbit. Alright. And we can get our mantis god going. It's undying. It's gonna win the match anyway, so let's just go. Alright, a duplicate event. Um, hmm. Or I could go ahead and complete my totem, but let's go this way and get a duplicate, probably of our Mantis God. I think we're guaranteed to get at least a 2 and 1 Mantis God be lower is one of the attributes. Yeah, that's what I had a feeling you might do. I mean, that's still pretty respectable though, so not a big deal. Okay. Um, yeah, all these kind of stink. I've only got the magpie. I do have a couple of amphibians though, so we'll go with it. Alright, time for another boss battle. Let's see how things fare. Hopefully I'll get cards in an order that's playable here. It's always frustrating when it gives you cards that just aren't in a good spot. Alright, well we got the Mantis God. That's uh, about the best we can ask for, I think. there so we can collect a pelt. I'm gonna miss one of the pelts, unfortunately. That's okay. We'll do that again so that we can collect it once more. Not gonna let their stinky get us. Okay. Um, they're gonna have a wolverine coming at us soon. It's interesting. Okay, so we'll have three pelts to trade for. That means that we'll have a whole lane and we can put down our mantis god and just win it. I think that's what I'll do. Unless there's a lammergeier. Is there a lammergeier? No, there's not. 
I don't like this stinky mud turtle. Um, so let's do something like this. Um, I think that will work out fine. Hey, and we got our millworm, so we can buff up our mantis god. And um, we could maybe get our mud turtle or something else down just for some insurance here. I think that that's what we'll do. There we go. And... Hmm. I like the mud turtle with the wings. That's kind of funny. I think that that's all we'll do for now. Okay. And we can put down our black goat. Let's see what we get. That skink. Okay. Um, let's do that so we can get the goodies out of it. And yeah, we'll be fine with that. We're gonna win anyways, I think. Yeah. Dead even. I really like that millworm. If I can get damage on it too, that's gonna be Nirvana. I'm having a feeling that I won't be able to, but we'll see. We'll go with the old moose buck, why not? Come on, fire event. Nope, doesn't look like one. All right, three sigil. You know how it's gonna be. There we go. Wow, definitely got it. <laughs> All right, a bullfrog with unkillable and fecundity. Um, Raven Egg gets made of stone and it has fecundity. A pronghorn gets burrower and it has bloodlust. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Unkillable bullfrog. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the unkillable bullfrog because that might help me with some of the crap that happens when we have airborne that are uh, causing problems for us. So I need to use up these crappy items too or else I'm going to be in trouble. All right. Bloodlust. Pronghorn with bloodlust too. All right. We can play a skink and get two cards. Um, I think that we'll go ahead and do that. We'll put it over here so that it runs away and we'll put our worker ant down. Um, let's see. We'll put it right over here so it'll get hit, but then it'll do a big chunk of damage on the pronghorn. Um, and we can go ahead and get this down. Why not go ahead and pull a tooth too while we're at it? Okay. It's kind of good just to have that smooth win. Um, sigil swap. Could put a mud turtle on something like the dire wolf pup, maybe. Um, or I could get the card look up on somebody else. Um, hmm. Maybe put the mud turtle on the magpie. I don't know. I think getting our totem completed is probably the best idea. We got enough here. We should be able to get a golden pelt, I think. Yep. Okay, we'll take what we got. Hey, there's our insect head. Perfect. Ah, two porcupines incoming. Well, we can search for a card that we want, and that would probably be pretty good. And we already know where we're going to go with that. Um, got to get your boy the Mantis God, and we'll go ahead and buff it up to a crazy extent. And I think the game's over already. Nice. 
Okay. First, I didn't think it, I'd be able to pull anything off, but that magpie really came in clutch there. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we'll go through River Snapper. I don't like how big my hand's getting now. I feel like I need to slim down a little bit. Hopefully I don't have just Mantis Gods. Okay, good. Kind of wanted to keep them as they were. Having a single pack rat that's 4 and 4 is pretty intimidating. It's as strong as a Great White. Actually stronger since it has more defense. Hey, and there's a fire event. Um, so I could go up there and boost up the millworm. That sounds like a great idea to me. Um, as far as sigil swaps go, I don't really see it. The direwolf pup's ability is going on something else. What could that be? If I could get something, a dam builder, maybe. But yeah, I want to head up to the fire. That'll replenish my cards as well, or my items as well. I think that'll give me a good chance. All right. Our skink can help generate some stuff. So let's go with it. Okay. And here we go. Good. I like how the wriggling tail generates an ant and a uh, rabbit for me too. Okay, and we got scissors out of that. Nice. And time for our mantis god. The mantis god cometh. Oh, the sharp quills are getting me. Wow, I think I just lost it because of that. Wow. Okay. Um, that's the kind of game they want to play, huh? Let's see. Well, I can't take them out. Um, they're too strong. I can take out that column, but the Alpha and the Pronghorn and the Elk Fawn are all still here with me. Um, I could cut one of them. That's doable. Let's see. If I cut this guy, I could cut out or I get enough damage to maybe pull this round, even though we'll lose it again. Um, I will kill the Elk or the pronghorn, the elk fawn will still be there. Um, this might work. I can put down the golden pelt. Kind of help with that damage over there. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Good. Do our old Mantis God again. Oh, that might not be enough. Yep, good. I was about to say they're going to get me, but it wasn't enough. <laughs> Alright, well, sadly, I don't think I can recover. Uh, I can hit these pronghorns, but they're going to do, let's see, one, two damage, and that's too much. Um, so I really need to be over in this lane, but I can't go over there. I mean, I can play the worker ant over there, I guess, and that would give me some points, not a lot. So let's just try it out. Yep. Yep, not, not good enough. Interesting how these variations are just strong enough to work out something tough on us. Let's get the dire wolf and we'll put its ability on the pack rat. Just have a really wacky setup. Feeling like my plans of having a strategy are kind of gone at this point. <laughs> Anyways. I've got so many cards that I think I'm getting spread too thin, strategically speaking. Um, 
another health booster. It's not a big help. I guess I could do it on one of the Mantis Gods. Um, this one is more vulnerable, so we'll get it boosted up. And at least it'll be able to survive a turn. I think that could have helped me with that previous match where they kept kind of resource exhausting me with having to do a, another sacrifice over and over. I guess this has got to be the third one, right? Okay. Bullfrog has fecundity and is unkillable. I guess we'll go with it so that that wolf has something to hit. Um, yeah. Okay. Time for another bullfrog, yo. We'll get us a bull boulder down. There we go. That should be able to take out, or well, it'll at least serve as punching bag for that wolf cub. And let's just draw from here and see what we get. Kind of need to find one of our better cards. He's just going to come at us with all these wolves, and we're going to be in trouble. Um, I think we already are in trouble, actually. Let's see. Yeah, it might be game over. Um, that's sad. Just because of Stinky. Huh. Now we can play a bullfrog. Um, but it's not really going to get us anywhere. trapped in a cycle here of just having bullfrogs and nothing I can build up with. There's just too many bullfrogs! Um, yeah. This is just a touch bit hilarious. Um, so I could even put it over here and play the airborne, but it's like, it's still not gonna matter. I think I do matters. <laughs> They're gonna do nine damage and uh, just over. Can just uh, collect bones over and over. <laughs> Maybe I'll get tired after I get too many bones. Um, yeah, I think he's just overwhelmed me with having the uh, stinky canines. So. We'll cut our losses and probably go ahead and call the stream for the day because um man we gave it nearly two hours and just had just horrible endings these it just kept coming at us well look just a little bit not going to start a new one but um just got to be away i think that the boss totems are part of what's getting me hit so hard so i think that maybe next time I need to do something like this and not boss totems because boss totems are just wrecking me. You know what? Let's just do one more. Let's let's just try one more time. I want to see it before I forget um, the plan here, so let's do it. Okay. Millworm is a big help. I think I'm going to do beehive and hmm cat sounds good maybe we'll use the cat okay all right Power boost. I um, guess we'll go three worm. Let's see if we can get rid of it. Nope. Now we got a ringworm that can actually be useful though.
Okay, bullfrog. Now let's put down our beehive to generate some bees. Okay. And uh, let's see, we could get our cat on the board so that we can um, get some ringworms going. Right, hey, ringworm. Okay. Let's see, we've got our mantis god. So we'll take out the adder. We'll put this over here just to do a hit on the bullfrog. There we go. the ant queen and let's see see a fire event so let's make a beeline towards it isn't a good spot. Um, we can get our beehive down, but it's not really going to help us in any way. I actually did that backwards the way I meant to do the cat first. Darn it. Um, yeah, not a good situation. I think we've already lost this one. Um, we'll pull a tooth. But similar situation. I think we're just not going to have any power on the board to uh, address these kingfishers in time. River Otter will hit our beehive though. If it'll get on there. Okay. Mantis God can help us turn this around now. Just barely though. Okay. It's okay. We need just barely. That's all we need. Okay. Oh, we got our Aunt Queen. There we go. Paired with our worker ant, we'll have a strong queen. Gonna get some sweet excess damage here in a minute. Good. Well, that's a not so great one, but we'll take it. Whatever help we can get, I suppose. All right, I guess we'll let, see if this ringworm will get consumed by the flame or not. Oh, now we're going to have this uh, strong ringworm. May end up deciding to take us to the fungus event now. <laughs> I mean, it would be two and six, so be a little bit stronger than a snapper. Um, hmm. All right, I'm going to try to play this in the correct order now. Do this, and I'll do that, and we'll go ahead and put down our ant queen too. 
Okay. Here we go. Here comes our river otter. Wrecker ant will take out the beehive. Should be getting to our mantis god here in a moment. There we go. I had to dig through the whole deck, but that's okay. Okay. Um, I want to go this way so that we can have a chance at getting a totem completed. I think it's more important than going to the fire. Okay. Yeah, that definitely wasn't going to be a good stop there, but we wanted the totem more anyways. All right, let's do Mighty Leap. Come on, insect head. Ah, uh, bees within. Darn it. Um, let's see. Well, I guess we need our insect head first, so we'll go with that. Alright, at least this won't be a totem fight, so it'll be hard, but we'll see what we can do. Okay. We can't really get much out there. I mean, we could get the cat, but that does ne next to nothing, so we should probably just wait. Okay, and then boost it up ringworm. Um, <laughs> that's quite a joke. Um, let's do this. We'll get our cat on the board over here, and we'll put our um, rabbit pelt over in front of this guy, and just continue on. Okay. Now we have our strong um, ringworm, so we'll put it out here, and it has Muddy Leap as well, so it should stop that Kingfisher. Okay. Ooh, okay, let's see. Well, we need him to drag out something, so I think we'll just have him drag out this um, ringworm. Why not? Too bad I don't have sharp quills and these things that have mighty leap. Okay, Mantis God time. Okay, no idea if this is going to work out with the great whites about to come out, but we'll see. We'll just go ahead and lose track of our... Uh, King Fisher there. But nope. Okay. Alright, here comes the tricky part. How are we gonna deal with this situation? Kinda of feel like we gotta lose our Mantis God um, to have a chance here. I hate it. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we do get a worker ant out of this, so we may have just enough time. Alright. Bait buckets incoming. Um, uh, I think I did just enough poor decisions here that it's not going to work out. We're going to get another hit, and I won't get teeth for flipping the bait bucket. That's the main problem here. Hmm. Well, 
Might as well go down having fun, right? Okay, let's see. Yep, this is where it's gonna all come to a wash. Man, what a shame. This has been such a strange night, and I thought for sure today would be the night that I uh, clear the 80 point challenge. <laughs> but that's alright. We'll go ahead and call the stream here in a minute once we get past the kill screen. Ah, man. What a bunch of strange runs today. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and roll credits. Hey, this has been STR Inc. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter at STR Inc. I'll have a replay on YouTube soon. Thanks. Have a good day.